Connie Cockatoo Review Story. Cockatoo reads. Cockatoo reads. Cockatoo reads. I'm excited about our new country home. Connie Cockatoo chirped happily. We all love our castle, Mommy Cockatoo said as they were cleaning their new country castle. You may go outside to play as soon as we are finished cleaning. You may cross the castle moat on the cross bridge, but stay in the yard, please. Out in the yard. Connie Cockatoo saw a log floating in the water. He also heard some animals playing under the cottonwood trees. Then Connie Cockatoo had an idea. She ran back inside the castle to share her idea with Daddy Cockatoo and Mommy Cockatoo. Let's have a get acquainted picnic. The whole Cockatoo family cooperated. Work together to get ready for the picnic. By night time, Connie Cockatoo was really tired. Connie Cockatoo was ready to go to her perch bed. Just as Connie Cockatoo went off to sleep, Connie Cockatoo heard a click, click, and crying sounds. Then Connie Cockatoo heard a splash in the moat. Connie Cockatoo wondered who or what it could be as she drifted off to sleep. When the day for the get acquainted picnic arrived, everything in the Connie Cockatoo's country castle home was ready. Clang clang! The guests were at the door. All the animals in the neighborhood were glad to come. What a happy time they had, singing and playing games! It's time to eat. Connie Cockatoo called at last. Everyone walked to the castle picnic tables. What a surprise! All the delicious food was gone. Who could have eaten all the food? Everyone began to look for tracks. The tracks led to the castle moat. Something was moving in the water. Come out, Connie Cockatoo called. A clicking, crying crocodile came up out of the water. Everyone began to run. Wait, called Clicker Crocodile. I ate your picnic lunch. I tried to take just a taste, but I ate the whole lunch. Boo hoo! Big tears came out of Clicker Crocodile's eyes. I am very, very sad for what I did. Everyone forgave Clicker Crocodile. Connie Cockatoo invited him to play croquet with all the animal friends. Suddenly, Connie Cockatoo's croquet ball rolled and rolled and rolled right into the moat. "I'll get it! I'll get it!" cried Clicker Crocodile as he slid into the water. "Hooray for Clicker Crocodile!" the animals all cheered. Suddenly, all the animals heard crash, crack, clatter, crash. Clicker Crocodile had run into the castle cross bridge with his big mouth open. The castle cross bridge had crumpled into the moat. I have a good idea, Connie Cockatoo said. 
Let's let clicker crocodile be the new cross bridge. Soon, all the animal friends rode safely across the moat on clicker crocodile's back. Everyone was happy again. Connie Cockatoo's head feathers stood straight up like a little crown. Cockatoo's head feathers stand straight up when cockatoos are very happy, you know.